This walk has elements from Game of Thrones and is one of our favourite walks due to its variety. Also, if you've done the full trail and took the short route at Stroud Water Canal, this is what you missed. The Cotswold Way Trail is a 102 mile long scenic route through the quiet Cotswold countryside. Walking the trail can take between 4 to 8 days depending on pace. The trail starts in Chipping Candom and ends in the historic city of Bath. In this series of videos we're highlighting 8 popular walking loops along the trail that can be completed in a few hours. This walk is known as Selsley Circuit. Today's walk starts in King Stanley by the King's Head pub and we're utilising the nearby free car park. Transiting the sports field, you'll pick up the trail heading down the steps to the footbridge. At this point you'll find yourself walking through a number of fields, but the views are incredible. We filmed this part of the walk in March, and spring was certainly in the air. We took our time ascending up a steep and sometimes stony gully, but taking breaks to admire the scenery was worth it. Do you remember this one? At the top of the hill we turned left into Penwood, a sheltered beach woodland. Oh. Through the final kissing gate we reached Selsey Common. Selsey Common is a 97 acre biological and geographical site of special interest. Despite attempts to enclose the common, it has been vigorously defended over the years, with the first recorded dispute being in the Saxon era. There is one area which did become enclosed, known locally as Dead Man's Acre. The story goes that a man was told that he could have as much land of the common that he could enclose in one day. The effort though proved too much and killed him. The truth of this tale is dubious as it bears similarities to works of fiction, such as Leo Tolstoy's How Much Land Does a Man Need? The common also has a Neolithic long barrow, known as the Toots, so called because of a hollow in the middle, which makes it look like it's composed of two mounds. Some locals have fun with the leftover quarry stones, and during the pandemic, this area was awash with dinosaurs. we'd recommend a quick look at Selsey Church as you're passing. With its peaceful and cool serenity and beautiful 19th century stained glass windows. Having left Selsey, there's a short walk beside the busy A419 before arriving at Stroud Water Canal. Although not part of the route, it's worth taking the short detour to see Eberly Mill. Built in 1820, it was the largest mill in Stroud Valley and is now home to Stroud District Council. Stroud Water Canal has had a lot of restoration work done over the years and the benefits are evident. The Stroud Water Canal runs for eight miles between the River Severn and Wallbridge near Stroud. 
Built in 1770, its main purpose was to bring coal to the mills for the manufacture of woolen cloth. As always there's a link to a map in the video description. Also if you just want to visit Selsley Common there is a car park close by. Well I know we've not heard much from Teresa lately but she did insist on adding her views of this walk. Thanks Mike, I can't let you take all the credit. Like you say, I love the variety on this walk from strolling peacefully along the canal to being up on the exposed, windy Selsley Common. I'm not keen on steep climbs, but the only one we had we were able to stop to admire the views of Epley and Stonehouse in the distance. Of all the walks we've done in the Cotswolds, I can't believe this was on our doorstep and we've only just got around to doing it. Can't wait to do it again, but in the opposite direction next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you'll be showing your support by liking or leaving a comment on the video. Or even better, you could subscribe to the channel. We'd both really appreciate that. Thanks for now, and we'll see you next time.